Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the Little Red Ninja allotment channel. Well, I've made it back from my secret location and uh, I'm uh, just checking out what I need to do tidying up wise on the plot. So to put it to bed for uh, autumn and a little bit of winter. But uh, in today's video I will show you mainly what I will be tidying up and what I will be leaving so uh, and also I've got uh, some news on where little ninja went or well, he's actually sent me some pictures so uh, in this video I will occasionally put up a picture of where he went not really supposed to tell me but uh, he wanted to because he was really excited on his uh, secret uh, mission but uh, let's crack on with uh, showing you what I need to uh, tidy up and what I'm gonna leave so let's crack on first of all um, what I'm gonna do sorting out the allotment is uh, check all my compost bins that's just any old rubbish I put in there to rot down that's my main compost bin just uh, go through that check on my uh, leaf bulb bin get that ready and see if the stuff is okay to put on the uh, plot cut down the last of uh, my comfrey Something else I need to do is uh, uncover all the carrots that are in my tubs here and possibly move them into the allotment, uh, not in the allotment, what am I on about, into the uh, polytunnel for overwinter. Cut down this uh, French bean, which was very good, very good to me this year. And... Um, pick some leeks and some more carrots kind of like tidy up the strawberry bed but uh, not really uh, worried about the strawberry bed put some more leaf bulb down there and uh, as you can see I've got strawberry runners so I need to dig those up put them in some pots and um, wait for those for next year and I've got more strawberry plants than I can uh, deal with at the moment because I've already done a load and they're uh, cracking on which is down there but uh, yeah as you can see my leaks I need to lift some of them tidy them up and uh, just make this ready for early next year which uh, shouldn't take too long over the next couple of days. On the next bit, let's just check my uh, vertical pallet. And as you can see, the next lot of carrots are doing really well. They are moving along nicely. And I'm just gonna leave them until I need them. They're not just, they're not ready yet, but I can wait considering what they were like over the summer I'm looking forward to those in the second lot because this has been a great success this year so if you do get your hands on something like this a vertical pallet do it because it does work All right, let's have a look at something else that I need to sort out need to uh, check on my swede that I've got here I've lifted one already and that was an absolute whopper uh, next to that is my uh, broad beans and I've got field beans in there field beans are starting to come up and you can probably guess where they are they're underneath these covers and they are just coming up now but uh, 
something's eaten one of my broad beans right there but I'm not fussed really not fussed at the moment uh, the uh, brassica cage will stay where it is because everything in there is just getting on with uh, life as a as a veg uh, need to uh, repurpose this path with some more wood chip if I can find some and uh, my uh, bed here for my peppers needs definitely sorting out because this area I've decided I'm going to make a big cover and a big raised bed bit just in this area here quite a big area so I might just do two covers I've got loads of wood for it so that'll be a little project I need to do over winter and early next year get rid of uh, those squashes because they've been absolutely useless I've had no plants whatsoever no uh, fruits from them at all it's absolutely useless that seed and that was a fresh seed I put in as well I've got carrots here as well need to tidy all this up just uh, refresh it get rid of all that and uh, think about what I'm going to put there for over winter but I think I might leave that let's just move on to the next area if you're liking the video so far uh, please do smash the subscribe button and the notification bell as well as the like button but also Little Ninja would like you to uh, also share the videos with your friends, families, uh, whatever. And that is from Little Ninja. And he says, I hope you're enjoying some of the pictures that I'm putting up. I'm putting them up randomly. So, uh, hope you enjoy the pictures that he's given me. But uh, let's crack on. All this at the uh, top of the plot, I'm going to repurpose. I've had a long, hard think about this whole area. And I've tried to keep on top of it all summer. And it's just not happened at all. It just, the weeds seem to come back all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these pots off. Clear everything right down to there so it's completely bare and I'm going to put like uh, plywood all the way along on there and use it as a hard surface for all my um, tubs and containers so hopefully no weeds come up through fingers crossed and that includes this area here because I've got uh, a few bags of uh, horse muck and a bag of topsoil which will help in other parts of the uh, allotment so uh, let's have a look at my uh, no dig bed which has been a success And here we go. This has been an absolute success. As you can see, it's still producing lots of stuff for me, which is uh, very good. I am just over the moon with this raised bed, or this uh, no dig bed, I should say, that I've done this year. So if you uh, are thinking about a no dig bed, do it because I've only had to take out this whole area and I would say it's probably about 15 feet from here right to about there and it's about uh, 7 feet wide and I've only had to take out 4 weeds and that's not from coming up from underneath that's uh, 
been dropped by birds and just uh, self seeded so well worth it rather than spending hours on weeding I've uh, spent hours on picking which is what you want to do so uh, that's going to be left as it is over winter just going to leave it because it saves on uh, maintenance and I can pick stuff right the way up to Christmas with this stuff and it adds as a mulch as well stops any weeds coming up so there's a couple of other places I need to sort out which I'll show to you in a minute and the last little bit in this uh, video um, is uh, where I have my tomatoes and where I've got uh, my celery which is uh, starting to be affected by cold nights so uh, that has come to an end I think I will lift that, shred it up and stick it in a compost bin but the area where I had all my tomatoes and a little bit extra I've actually mm, I've actually cleared and uh, I've put these covers because the cats and the foxes around here seem to like playing in all this freshly dug soil as well as leaving a little present for me but what's going in is uh, garlic elephant garlic and the Casablanca garlic and um, I'm gonna put in in here and here beginning of next year I'm gonna put in onions I'm doing from seed which I will show but uh, in this video I hope you've uh, enjoyed some of the uh, pictures that uh, little ninja um, threw up on the uh, during the video and uh, it was uh, visiting someone in uh, Washington DC lucky person so let's crack on to see what's in the polytunnel what I need to do so uh, let's crack on with that that's me talking come on let's get on with it uh, one last thing I'm going to show you in the polytunnel and uh, what I'm going to do over winter well over autumn and winter is how it looks at the moment I'm just going to leave it as it is and uh, just try and get some more peppers as you can see there one there there's quite a few on that plant and uh, a few others down the bottom there but everything in here I'm just going to let let it go, do its own thing over winter and die back down and say come back in a couple of months and completely clear this lot out and have next year just growing like here some uh, cucumber which is a diva variety and that's done really well but mainly what I'm going to grow in here next year are just all peppers on both sides because I've had tomatoes in here and they just took over the bottom bit the tomatillo is still growing and still producing but overall the whole of this polytunnel will be peppers next year and hopefully be a little bit better managing so uh, yeah that's uh, another job for over winter but there is one last thing that I need to show you and it's behind the polytunnel so let's go and have a look the last thing I'm going to show you is my raised bed I had behind the polytunnel which had 
loads and loads of tomatoes and hardly got affected by blight so what I will be doing is I'll be putting in some green manure all I need to do is take out the uh, spring onions I've still got in there give it a bit of a refresh with some uh, leaf mold and some fresh compost of my own design and then uh, put the green manure in cover it with that so the foxes and cats don't use it as a toilet and just leave it for over winter and that shouldn't take me that long probably about a couple of hours but uh, today is at an end so uh, in the meantime stay safe keep doing what you're doing don't forget to share the video and um, I'll see you in the next video which will be about some seeds that I will be growing new next year this is Paul the little red ninja allotment channel and ninja says hi as he's uh, flying back at this precise moment in time and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye for now oh it's getting cold which I like <laughs>